And you know, I want to just uh, share a bit of my testimony with you. You know, I've, as a, I'll try and be as quick as I can, but you know, as a young man, growing up, I was brought up in church, I was always in church. No matter where we stayed, in the north of Scotland mostly, my mother and father would find a church and we'd go to a church there, so I was brought up in church my whole life. And you know, as I, as I got older, and I got married, you know, I, I, I never had a walk with God. Uh, you know, I, I, me and my wife got married and I didn't live a ramblesome life. I was, you know, I've, I've, never drunk, I've, been, I've never been drunk in my life. I've never smoked, I've never took drugs. I'm not an argumentative person, I don't fight and argue, don't, nothing like that. But you know, all through my life, that sometimes I think that made me self-righteous. And you know that, thank God in 2010 in Edinburgh, the convention in Edinburgh, the Lord truly transformed my life. I believe that from today. I really believe that God transformed my life. And since that day, you know, I've never looked back and I thank the Lord that, you know, that the work that God has done in my life since the Edinburgh Convention to now and he's done many, many wonderful things in my life. And I thank God for that. But just about November time, last November, I went into the doctors. I don't, I'm a typical man. I never went about a doctor in years. Uh, and I went in to get my blood pressure checked. And as I went in to get the blood pressure checked, because I wasn't in for so long, they wanted to do some like routine bloods and whatever anyway. They did what they needed to do and then they say something showed up in the bloods and uh, they wanted to, to do further, further tests. And anyway, the, the more tests down the line. At November time, I got told that I had uh, locally advanced uh, bowel cancer. And you, you know, for, for me, a 33 year old, and lived a, I've lived a very good clean life, trust me, I, I didn't, I, in my, my opinion, I lived a very good clean life and I know that doesn't count for much. But 33 year old and diagnosed with, with something like that, I started just to, you, you start to question everything, you start to question everything you've done up to that point and what the future holds and, you know, the, and one of the doctors told me when I was going to, just before I started treatment, the doctor told me, he says, 80% of this type uh, of cancer is easily treated. He says, but you fall into the 20% that, you know, we don't see very good results with. He says, so don't get your hopes built up. Um, he, was a, he was a horrible man, to be honest with you. He had nothing good to tell me. And I went out of that place and I was absolutely gutted. He says, we'll give you the treatment and whatever, but he says, it's unlikely that it's going to work. So anyway, I came out of the place, I was, I was gutted, fed up. And, you know, I started to think about my life. But, you know, I thank God for one thing tonight, and you're going to hear the gospel tonight. You know, I want to thank God for one thing. If anything was to happen to me, you know, I, I, if anything was to happen to me, I know where I'm going. You know, I know that I'm, I'm heaven bound, not because of me or anything I've done, but all because of what God has already done for me. Amen. You know, and I, I, I know that I've got that, I've got that assurance, I've got that comfort. Um, listen, I've got a wife and children, so you know, you think about all these type of things. But anyway, I got on this, I got on this, uh, this treatment, and it was, it was very, it was, it was, it was very, very bad. It was rough. Um, and over the course of so many months, uh, I got radiotherapy, I had chemotherapy, I had immunotherapy. I had all the, the basically they threw everything they could at it, thank God. And you know, the, I've, I've just went for some scans before I came to the convention. Um, and I wait to hear the results on them, but I had some a few months back. And the man told me, he says, basically, the tumor is basically dissolved away to nothing. Um, and you know, the, they believe that there may be some small bits left that they can operate on. You know, I want to just thank God today that I don't know what any of you is going through today in here. But let me tell you this, and I can promise you this faithfully. As a person who lived a very simple, straightforward life with very little problems, right up until this year, God can get you through anything. I don't care what it is that's going on in your life. You must trust in God. You know, a man came to me and he said to me one day, and he says, I know I don't know what I would do in your situation. I don't know what I would do. And you know, it's something I would have said to somebody who was in the same situation as me. But you know, I, I said this. I have two, two choices as a Christian man. I have two choices. I can either question God or I can just keep on trusting God. Yeah. And you know, if he sees it fit to take me home, well, that's, that, that's better for me. But you know, if he wants to leave me to do his work on here with him, that's better for me as well and everything else. So I want to thank God for everything. And you know, you know I want to thank God for each and every one of you in the churches who's been praying. Just keep on praying. You know, I've not got the all clear just yet, but going from lying in a hospital bed could hardly walk to now. God's done doing wonderful things. God bless you. Thank you, Lord.